Hi again, it's me, Juan Molina, Dental Product Manager. Today I have Greg from Dentian again with us. Hi there. And we want to go through a basic, basic procedure of maintaining your device, which is cleaning and maintaining your regulator. Greg, do you have, have you heard anything in the field about regulators, fun stuff that we can tell the customers out in the field? Yeah, so, so at Dentian we touch a lot of machines that are older and, uh, and actually don't see a lot of the maintenance on a day-to-day basis. And uh, one of the common things that comes in is, hey, my, my zirconia is kind of pow like uh, cakey. It's getting everywhere on the machine. Um, and, you know, my spindles are failing uh, uh, prematurely. And a lot of times that comes back to having water in your compressed air. Now, as aside from, uh, you know, having your air compressor properly configured, um, the machines actually ship with a water separator. But a lot of times, people kind of fail to, uh, you know, open their eyes and look at that that water separator, and uh, and you'll have water build up in there, which will just propagate through the machine and get onto your parts. Um, so uh, in this video, we're just going to go through real quick how to uh, one check that the regulator is uh, properly adjusted as far as pressure, and then also how to how to service the regulator in case there's any moisture build up inside. Let's focus our attention to the top right back corner of the machine. This is your air pressure regulator, and it's making sure that the pressure of the air coming into the machine is what the machine is expecting it to be. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna check is that your output air pressure is set to the correct specification, which for the dry machine is actually gonna be 0.2 MPA. And what a lot of people don't notice is that we've actually already marked that here on the gauge. Um, there's these little, uh, little marks here. So in order to make the adjustment, you're gonna pull this up and then you're going to rotate it. And we're going to rotate it the correct direction. And once you're happy with the reading, lock it back down and it'll stay in position. The anatomy of this air pressure regulator, you have your input and output and your gauge on the front. And then here on the bottom, there's a bulb. Any moisture that's in the air pressure line is going to collect at the bottom of this bulb. Now, uh, this is something you want to pay attention to occasionally. Uh, just get your eyes on it and look for any moisture in that bulb. If you see any moisture buildup, at the bottom there's a little bleeder valve. And with air pressure applied to it, you can hold a rag underneath and just pop this off and let it run out and feel any moisture until any moisture that was in the bulb has come out into your rag. And again, this is a periodic thing. Maybe check it weekly um, and uh, make sure you don't have any moisture buildup. If you have excessive mo moisture buildup, then you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to your, your supply. Uh, you may be putting excessive amount of uh, water into your air supply. So a component that you wanna watch for is any kind of uh, um, excess of oil, debris, oil, debris right, right. that's going through the lines. Yeah, if you end up seeing a lot of oil in this, then that's actually a sign that your air compressor might be failing because it's passing oil through uh, where it shouldn't be passed through. Um, right. Greg, thanks once again. Um, yeah. Great tip, you know. Um, we want to make sure they're always keep an eye on the machine, like I always mention. Uh, may sound like redundant, but it makes sense. Uh, clean the machine, keep it going. That will keep the machine going. Thanks, Greg. Absolutely. Thank you again for joining us for this Tech Buzz Tip Tuesday. If you have suggestions for a future Tip Tuesday, please email us at dental at rollandga.com. Thank you.